We're back with the Couch Sessions SA and I'm sitting here with Justin from Jigamaro, yeah? This is the main man himself today <laughs> for the fundraiser that we're having at Rusty Hook. So, uh, tell us about it. <laughs> okay, well basically my name's Justin Fernandez. I'm the owner and caretaker of the uh, Jigamaro Predator Park with my mom and my dad and my sister. Where the whole family's got involved to saving big cats and uh, we landed up at one stage with 23 big cats where uh, 12 tigers, uh, 6 lions, caracals, wolves, people collecting animals thinking that they are pets as toys and uh, once they get bigger they don't know what to do with these things. So we started uh, rescuing cats, looking after them and um, we went through a bit of a bad patch where we lost our previous home out in Kroblesdal, got kicked off the property, we had to relocate, build 12 enclosures within 5 days, relocate the cats, lived in a tent in a caravan for almost 2 and a half years until we found our new home, it was out in Falwater and uh, sadly when we moved the cats, it was about 3 weeks ago, um, we had a very unfortunate incident where people came into the property, they threw uh, meat with poison on it, they poisoned two of my big brown lions, one of my white lions, and a very rare golden tabby tiger, where there's only 30 of these cats in the world. And um, so what we're doing here today, we've got blended and we've got the rusty hook here out today, doing this amazing um, fundraiser for the cats. All the proceeds that are getting collected here today is all going in for the security of the cats to put up cameras, put up electric fencing, floodlights, just to make sure that the rest of the cats at Jugamara are going to be safe for the next hundred years. They, I, I mean, it was a headlining breaking news when it came out. Why do you guys think that happened? Well, basically what happened was we are a very well-renowned known park in the world where we actually shot to fame basically with a very special tiger that made world headline news back in 2010 by the name of Pancho. He was a tiger that jumped off the back of a bucky, made world headline news and um, with that he actually got so famous that we thought, you know what, if people are coming out this far to see this one tiger, what do they do to see a whole park? And this is where we started off our park and we started uh, looking after these cats and people started seeing how well we looked after them and next thing we started getting phone calls after phone calls please help rescue this one please get this one away from these people and uh, when we looked again we landed up with like 23 big cats and um, with Punch also making worldwide headline news we got people from all over the world that came to see this one tiger and um, yeah and it's just grown up from there and we get views probably it's about four five thousand no four hundred thousand views on our Facebook yeah. page daily just watching the cats see how I interact with the cats and there's probably things that I can do better with my cats than my people can do with their dogs at home. Sadly one of the cats that worst poisoned was Elvis which was my white line, seven years old, weighing in at three hundred and fifty kilos, that he was actually so gentle that he could eat chicken out of my mouth. No jokes. So um, very beautiful cats and people got to know and experience what love is with these big animals. Fair enough, Nature Conservation, Natural Geographic do say that these animals are your apex predators. But yet again, putting in a bit of love and dedication in with them will get you a lot further than thinking that they should just be in a cage or in the wild and let yeah. them fend for themselves. Do you think it was more malicious than anything else? Um, it, I don't think it was more malicious. There's a very ugly thing that's re reared its head in South Africa. It's exactly the same as what you get now with the rhinos. The rhinos are being posed for their horns. Now the sad thing is, lions are exactly in the same firing line now where they are uh, poisoning these cats. They actually poison the cats, kill them, and then what they do is they come into the enclosures, chop off their feet, chop off their heads, and they use the power points of the animals where they use this in black market rituals, sangoma, whatever you want to call it, where they use the power points that they use the, the nails which people are scared of. So like the teeth, the, the nails. So things that scare people, they'll use that in traditional healing or whatever. And this is why there's so many lines in the area or even all over the country now at this point that they're getting poached and getting mutilated for these stupid little things that they use on the cats. What do you guys... Uh envision going forward with the fundraiser what are you going to use the money for what do you what's going to happen in the future going forward 
Well, in the future now, all the money that is raised here today is all going into security, putting around the cats, where we need to put up a, a secondary perimeter fence around the enclosures, at least 40, 50 meters away, that no one can throw in any meat with poison. There needs to go up security cameras, there needs to go up floodlights, there needs to go beams that need to go up. So it's basically a Fort Knox that we're going to be yeah. putting right around these cats to protect the rest of them. And the sad thing is, I know it does sound sad that these cats might be in enclosures for the rest of life, but I'd rather see them alive and getting looked after than actually in Being some in pots. And or... even in the wild, they even get poached more than what they get looked after in, in captivity. Yeah. So if we don't do anything about looking after the, cat, the, the leftover cats that we have now, by the year 2025, there might not be a thing in this world to be known as a tiger or a lion. So, yeah, it's just protection towards the cats and looking after them. Okay, so besides today's fundraiser, is there a website or something that people can donate to or give you guys money or sponsorship for this? Yes, basically we have set up our website. It's still a bit under construction, but there is donation uh, information there. You can go follow us up on Facebook, Jugumara Predator Park SA. Uh, you can follow us up on Twitter, Instagram, even myself, Justin Fernandez, known as Tiger Boy, um, where uh, you'll see me exactly who I am with all my big cats. You will not miss my profile.